Hello and welcome here to the first episode of this Cambridge United career mode. So, this first episode will have all three friendlies and it will also go over all of the base settings and uh, all the emails that we have. So, let's get into that now. So first off, we have our settings. We're going to be going on world class with six minute halves. We'll be using euros. Um, we will not be doing the transfer window, however, because I want to keep it as realistic as possible. Now here's what our manager is like. He, his name is Mark Martindale from Canada. He will be uh, wearing a shirt and tie, which is navy. He is a light skin tone and a regular body type. And so now as we get into this, we have our first emails. We will be requested to gain promotion in our first season, which is pretty interesting. Also reached the round of 32. But now here's the squad report. Uh, going through this is the stats of all of our players with their overalls and age sorted by the position. So what I did notice going through the squad is that we have a lot of players loaned in. And so in the next episode at the beginning, I'll be showing my short list of players that uh, the scouts have either found for me or that I've found through searching through the uh, free agents list. But getting through here, we're into the strikers. Uh, there's a lot of positions of need that I think. So here's our transfer budget, $157,000 and a 3K wage budget. Not too bad, but could be a lot better, that's for sure. But first, what we will be doing is we will be spending that on a scout because we have the transfer window shut off. We will be signing Ed Pringle. Yes, Ed Pringle. What a name. And anyway, anyways, he will be going to England as that is the cheapest destination for $31,000 over a three-month period. That is our new updated transfer budget at $120,000 and a 2.3K wage. And now we get into the first match. Ryan Horn requested to be put into the match. But here's our first match. It is Cambridge versus Lanciano here at our home grounds. Now here's our starting lineup. Elliot Appiah, Chadwick, Dunk, Donaldson, Horn, Taylor L Miller, Nelson, Lanzani, and Dunn is our starting lineup. We will be going with a 4-1-2-1-2 throughout the entire year. And now is here, here is Lancio's. They have Turkey, Tiam, and Piccolo. In the center of the park, they have Ayagazi, Pagera, and Dikeko. At the back, they have Mamorella, Aquilanti, Ferrario, Conti, and Brunescu at the back. And as we get set here, we are officially underway here in the 2014 season. Now the first chance will come to Lancio in the 10th minute. And Dunn has to make a nice save off of the free kick. Now Agazi with another free kick. This one in the header goes over the bar. Lancio definitely dominated the first portion of the game. Piccolo with the corner in. The header goes up and is brought down by Dunn. And as you can see here, another corner. They definitely dominated the a lot of this game but Dikeko running for it trying to keep it in bounds he does and then Dikeko he will play it back to his center back Equalanti who plays it back into Dikeko into Tiam and Tiam finds his man Pagera Pagera loses it to Tiam and Agazi is able to slot that one past Dunn for the first goal of the preseason a weak goal led up there as you can see on the replay Agazi was able to somehow sneak it through. This is a perfect angle. Somehow Dunn was unable to stop that one. But now here's our first chance. Is Lanzoni, the right back, pushing up. He's dancing with it. He crosses it into Chadwick. Chadwick gets the head to it, but it is cleared away. And eventually they get the ball back. Now here in the 33rd minute, a bad challenge from our striker Elliot on Dikeko. And this does not look good for us as Elliot. Boom. Red carded. He's out for the rest of this preseason game. Tom Elliott is red carded. I don't... I Yes, this was a bad challenge, but I think that was a bit of an exaggeration from Dikeko as well. Not worthy of a red card in my opinion. But now here in the 39th minute, Appiah gets challenged hard. He goes down, and that's a foul. No yellow card or anything. Donaldson to take the free kick. He barely misses the net. As you see here on the replay, he barely missed, was able to get it around the wall, and he was not very happy with himself. 
Now into the second half, Mamorella into Baguera. Baguera passes it back to Turkey. What a name, Turkey. Dancing with the ball, he throws in the low cross, and Baguera gets a toe to it. It is now 2-0 Lanciano in the 54th minute. Here on the replay, you can see he barely got a toe to it. The center back there, um, Nelson, I believe it was, almost got there in time to deflect it away. But now here in the 72nd minute, we're playing with it at the back, and that's intercepted by Tiam, and Tiam easily sauce that one into the back of the net, a finesse shot. Doesn't really celebrate. A bad giveaway, though, from our defense. I'm not sure what they were trying to do there. But now Appia, here in the 77th minute, he's going to take a solo effort. He touched the left. He gets around his man, Conti. Now Ferrario coming in. He's dancing with it still. Appia crosses it in, and that's headed away. But Horn is able to reach the header, and Appia takes the strike, but he barely misses that one uh, near post. Now the time windling down. We only have 10 minutes to go with 3 now. We have to get something going. Piccolo takes a shot, and that one barely misses. That took a deflection off Lanzoni. So now on the ensuing corner. It's headed away, but Mamorella gets the ball. He passes to Baguera. Baguera crosses it over to the wide open Grossi, who came on afterwards uh, as a substitute. But that will end the game, and now here are your player ratings. Dunn was the highest rating for us with a 6.6. .6. Lanzani with a 6.5 followed closely. Horn played well after requesting to come in, but that is 1 through 7. And now here is 8 through 11. Elliot got red carded and finished with a 4. Donaldson played terribly with only a 4 rating. Taylor with a 5.2. And Nelson with a 4.8. I accidentally messed up there. Taylor should be ahead of Nelson. But now we move on to the second preseason match against the Australian side Perth Glory. At Perth Glory. So we had a fair bit of travel to do there. But now here's their lineup. Keo McLaren, Nichols, si Sydney. Uh, Harold Griffiths, Jamie Synthwaite, Clisby, Risden, and Duncan. I'm sorry about that pronunciation of Sydney. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. But now here's our lineup. Only one change horn comes out of the lineup for champion. Everything else is the exact same. Elliot looking for some redemption after being sent off in the last preseason match. Let's see what he's got to do here as we're underway. Elliot taking it right off the bat, but nothing comes of that. Now, Elliot in the fourth minute, he plays through Chadwick, who gets the ball through to Appia. Appia with space. He's going to take the shot, and that's easily stopped by Duncan. The great thing about our striker partnership in Appia and Elliot is that they both have a lot of pace, but now Appia, another chance here in the 12th minute. Appia, he's going to take the shot, but that's stopped again by Duncan. A great save from him. But now Elliot takes the long throw and into Chadwick. Chadwick dances with it. He's going to take the shot himself, and what a goal. The first preseason goal, or the first goal of the series, beg your pardon, is scored by Luke Chadwick, the veteran Cam, who is our captain. He's able to slot that one in beautifully. A very nice strike leads to the goal in the first, sorry, not the first, the second preseason match here in Australia which is quite the trip to make for an English side but now Nichols with the ball here in the 30th minute Nichols plays it into McLaren and McLaren's shot is blocked later on in the 39th minute McLaren out to Harold Harold with the ball and he finds Nichols Nichols looks for the cross he finds his man no there was actually a penalty called on Nelson's challenge on Harold and he's actually sent off Michael Nelson gets sent off the veteran center back who is 34 years old gets sent off now I'm not sure about this Nichols oh wow Nichols took a huge dive after the fact yes that should have been a penalty but not a red card that was a huge embellishment but now Keo to take the penalty he goes left and he misses the net Dunn guessed correctly but Keo misses the net nonetheless, and now off of the ensuing goal kick, Appia with space. He takes a shot. That's stopped. Ball bobbling around, and that's finally cleared. Now in the extra time of the 45th minute, Sidney with the ball. He plays it into Griffiths, and Rostin Griffiths scores to tie it up. It is now 1-1 one one in stoppage time. Excuse me, not extra time. A nice play from Sidney into Griffiths 
and just beautifully placed ball. But now we are into the second half. Now right off from start, McLaren finds Keo, his striker partner. He finds McLaren again, who finds Nichols. Nichols lobs it up for Griffiths, but that's easily stopped by Dunn. Now later on in the 53rd minute, Elliot with the ball. He plays through Lanzoni, who's pushing up. He finds Appia, whose header barely goes over the bar. A nice chance for Cambridge there. Appia steals the ball here in the 60th minute. Now Donaldson finds Chadwick, who plays through Appia. Appia. He cuts in. No, he gets the ball stolen by Clisby, but he find, he regains control. And Elliot, a spinning header into the back of the net. That's an early contender for goal of the season, even though it is in the preseason. What a header was that? He did a full 360 in the air to head that ball. This is great camera angle, as you see there. He spun all the way around and was somehow able to curl that one into the top of the net. What a beautiful goal from Elliot. And now that's a way to redeem yourself after getting sent off in the first friendly. Not preseason, sorry, I'm used to hockey. Now Zadkovich, who came in uh, as a sub, plays through Hersey, who also came in. And what a save that was from Dunn. Stretching out, blocking it, and then being able to control the rebound. Now a corner later on, that's bounced up, and Dunk gets to it first, and that is easily cleared, a harmless corner there. Now the 72nd minute, Zadkovic into Nichols. Nichols plays it out to Harold, and Harold finds Keo, who takes a shot, but that's a beautiful stop from Dunn again. Now the 77th minute, a beautiful challenge from Elliott. He's having a wonderful game today, definitely being influenced by that Brutal performance in the last game after being sent off. But the clearance goes straight to Appia. Appia finds the CDM champion who's pinching up. And that's easily stopped by Duncan. Now, time dwindling down is 83rd minute. Taylor finds Appia on this break. And Appia, one-on-one, -on -one, a beautiful stop from Duncan once again. Now here in the 89th minute. Two minutes to go until stoppage time. Hersey is played through, and Hersey takes the shot, and he finds the back of the net. Hersey ties it up in the 90th minute. What a beautiful ball, though. What a beautiful strike as well. It's very similar to the first goal. Same corner and everything. A beautiful strike from Hersey into the back of the net. Now we have five minutes of added time. Appia with the ball. He gets by one man. Men crowding around him. He's somehow to get out of it. Chadwick now with the ball in the center of the park. He finds Champion. Champion takes the strike. That's stopped. And the rebound is cleared away by Perth eventually. But now the ball goes to Donaldson. Donaldson finds Chadwick. And Chadwick gets the ball stolen, which now leads to another attack. Harold with the ball. A beautiful challenge from Lanzoni, and that's the end of that match. Final score of 2-2. Two two. Your man of the match is our very own Elliot with a 7.8 match rating. Chadwick was a 7.5. Donaldson was a 7.4. Was tied with Dunn with a 7.4. And Appia also gets a 7.2, and that rounds up all the 7s that we have. Taylor also got a 6.9. Was close. Our last place person was Michael Nelson, who was red carded early in the game. Miller and Champion were the two worst players that actually played a complete game. Now we move on to the final preseason game. As we notice that Ed Pringle has our first scouting report, is two goalkeepers who don't have very good potentials at all. Nicholas Davis had a decent overall, but nothing too special. And now our final preseason match is the biggest of them all. Newly demoted Norwich City comes we go to face. I, I don't remember whether this is a home game or not, but our lineup is a bit different. We have Bobby Joe Taylor on the left mid, Diallo at the CDM spot, and Whittall starting at Cam. And here is Norwich City's lineup. They have Hooper, Jerome, Redmond, O'Neill, Housen, OG, Dia, Ofo, Olsen, Basong, Mikel, Whitaker, and Bunn in goal. Bun and Dunn and goal, that's going to get confusing. But Jerome to Hooper, and we're underway here in the preseason final. O'Neill with the ball in the sixth minute. This is definitely some big competition as they are a championship side that have just recently been demoted to the championship from the Premier, from the Premier League. So this is very 
interesting test to see what our team is made of. But Elliot cuts in here in the ninth minute, but that shot is easily is easily stopped. Now check this out. A challenge from Appia in the air, and the guy that he was challenging lands on his head after being flipped in midair. You gotta love those, uh, well, I guess in hockey we'd call those the collision physics. I'm not sure uh, what you would call them, the physics engine. I'm not sure if they updated it or not, but definitely looks like it with all the new uh, collisions in midair and that. But a great chance for Norwich City there in the 36th minute, but nothing comes of it. Now we have a chance here in the 45th minute. Donaldson, he finds Appia, and Appia plays it out to Lanzoni, who throws in the cross, and Elliot, his header misses wildly. Now in stoppage time, Elliot with a chance. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Elliot, and he misses the net. Elliot, you got to be more clinical than that, man. You can't not, you cannot miss the net from that spot especially against these kind of sides you need to bury that as a nice stop there some substitutions made Teti he takes a shot he just came into the game that's blocked in the 64th minute sorry I forgot to mention that Gary Hooper now with the ball he's down low near the touchline he gets around one man he sends in the cross to Jerome but that is cleared away now the 69th minute Houlihan he plays into Teddy Teti plays to Cooper and Cooper, Hooper, sorry, not Cooper, Hooper gives it back to Teti, and Teti scores to make it 1-0. We were having a fantastic game before this, but we're just unable to hold Norwich back the entire match. Teti puts that one to the back of the net and makes it a 1-0 game in the 17th minute, or 69th minute, and I'm not sure what they've officially ruled it. But now in the 76th minute, we have our own chance as Appiah gets the ball. He gets around one man, and he is one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. He has to just get by Mikel. He's unable to do so, and his shot misses wildly. He was trying to go far side there. Now in the 89th minute, there is a foul on the play. Elliot goes down hard, and Donaldson has a chance to tie up this game and give a surprise, but very, very deserved draw against Norwich. But Donaldson misses the net by, by a very slim margin, as you see there again. A nice chance from Donaldson, but will we be able to do anything in the 90th minute? Appy is sent through, but Olsen gets there first. He clears it, and we fall 1-0 to Norwich City. Here's your final match ratings. Bobby Joe Taylor, actually, with a 6.7. Donaldson also with a 6.7. Those two had pretty good games on the wings. But I'd like to thank you for watching. I'll leave you with the final match ratings. Uh, look out for the next episode, um, which will have the first three uh, games of League Two. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.